Is the biggest street party coming to Upland? I think it is, and you might be surprised to find out where it will be. In the metaverse, we're all looking forward to Carnival, which is coming up, and that is huge in Rio de Janeiro, but in many places all around Brazil. Upland is not so quietly preparing for Carnival, and in this video, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I stumbled upon that can help you understand and prepare for what's happening in the next couple of weeks. The one thing that Upland has already officially announced is that there is going to be is that there will be user generated structure ornaments. Players were able to design structure ornaments and we will be able to vote on those and purchase the winning items in stores. I'm sure there will also be some sort of competition around those and a lot of other fun exciting events that I detailed in this video in the upper right hand corner. Here is an article about the Escadaria Celerone which is in the Lapa neighborhood of Rio de Janeiro. Here is a better picture of it where you can see the steps and street are covered with over 2,000 tiles from 60 different countries. These steps are the work of a Chilean-born artist named Jorge Celeron, who claimed this as my tribute to the Brazilian people. Now the biggest street party is not going to be on these steps. That's in the next announcement, but there's a lot of interesting things that is going to be happening with these steps. We are coming up to the 10th anniversary of the artist's death and we can see in this article that it says that there are plans to create an NFT collection that will be traded in the Upland Metaverse with the aim of obtaining funds for the emergency restoration of the staircase in addition to other preventive conservation actions at the site. Ney Neto, who is the General Director of Upland Brazil, goes on to say that the objective of this project is to raise funds to help the governance and conservation of this very important tourist spot in Rio de Janeiro. The idea is to see the digital world impacting the real world. Now, if you're going to want to own one of these cool tiles, chances are they might be pieces of outdoor decor items in Upland, or they could be legits. Either way, it will be interesting to see how Upland will integrate this tourist spot into the metaverse and allow people to digitally own a part of it. Next, I'm going back to talk about the biggest street party in the world. It happens during Carnival, but not in Rio de Janeiro. It actually happens in Salvador. Salvador is the fourth largest city in Brazil and the location of one of the largest carnivals in the world. I came across this LinkedIn post with a graphic saying Musi Green presents Upland as a partner of Carnival Salvador 2023. Now I couldn't find much information on this organization Musi Green, but the post did mention and quote a Web3 metaverse float in the middle of the streets of Salvador Carnival in Brazil. It did also mention that Musi Green is all about bringing impact and purpose to entertainment. Web 3.0, NFTs, and digital ownership can now allow this to happen. If there's going to be a giant float with a llama on it from Upland driving down the biggest street party in the world, I would think that Upland would also open that city up within the metaverse. Carnival is just under a month away, and I think that we can expect a lot more Brazilian players to start entering the metaverse based on the partnership with the Manguera Samba School and what I mentioned before about the Celerone Steps. With only around 5% of all the properties in Rio de Janeiro unminted, I think it's time for another Brazilian city to enter the metaverse. And based on what seems to be this upcoming announcement, all signs point to Salvador. With less than a week away until the opening of Buenos Aires in Argentina on January 19th, I think another city release is just around the corner. Upland announced with the Buenos Aires release they are only opening up about 17,500 properties, which is only six neighborhoods of the entire city. When you compare those number of properties, 17,500, to some of the other cities in Upland, it's even smaller than the one neighborhood that they opened up in Arlington, and in terms of the number of properties, it's about 40% of the size of Manhattan. Once again, Upland's only opening up six of the 48 neighborhoods in Buenos Aires, but I think that it is such a small release because they intend to open up another city very shortly after the reveal of the collection neighborhoods, which happens one week after the Buenos Aires city release. Now, if you want some tips on new city releases from an executive, make sure to continue watching this video down below. Let me know what you think in the comments below. What are you excited to see about Carnival in the Metaverse?